Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Chronic Pain Show 298. And make his way to the ring as we see his price to... I guess the best, even though we don't want to call him that, it's the worst, but anyway. First the best, I'm heading out to Habitopia, alongside me is no sort of beauty right now. i got no clue why she's not here. This opening match, Bryce is going versus Teodor, the legendary Teodor, for the Street Fighter Championship belt. So of course, he's not going to win. It could be a legendary performance, probably the best match of his life being against Teodor, but he ain't going to get the job done. And I know that um, Juno Tiffy's uh, basically getting trained by him, but she's so lucky, it's not fair. Anyway, here's Teodor, people, here's the... Teodor? Okay, I don't know what's going on, people. Teodor should be making his entrance as we speak. We get, we get. Seems Bryce the best has done it again. Teodor's so scared he won't even come out here to face me in this cage. You should just lower it now, or hell. Just ring the bell and award the best of the business his Extreme Fighter Championship belt. Why should he do that? And his super love. Why is she just in a bra? And she'll. Wow! Look how sweet she looks! She must be uh, really taking some. A good training from Teodor in the back there. I can remember. Well, it's my lucky day or something. Not only do I get handed the Three Five Championship belt, I get to see Super Nintendo in a bra in front of me too. Are you going to present me with a belt? Because I know what I can present with you later tonight. The best in the business. <laughs> Ew. Um, wait. What? Where's my shirt? Well, no, I was going to ask you that too. Why Give you me yours. You? No, I'm cold. Give it. No. No! Fine, oh, you're mean. I didn't realize what time it was. Theodore was trying to squeeze in a quick training session for me. Whoa, really? He's really pushing you ragged of late with his legendary training. You can say that, and boy, was it legendary. I bet it was. Speaking of legendary, Theodore's meant to be out here right now. And if he didn't hurry up, he's gonna forfeit the match to buys of all people. He's what? not gonna let that happen. He'll be here. Okay, I guess. But they're gonna start the countdown and he's gonna lose the. Oh, here he comes! The legendary. Why is he so sweaty, too? He must really be getting deep into training sessions with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He really is. Wow, that's awesome! So deep, in fact. I mean, <laughs> moving on. Well, yeah. I, I wish I could get some sessions with him. It'd be awesome. And I could be legendary finally. See, Bryce, I told you he's gonna show up here, he's gonna destroy you. <laughs> Look at him, he's, he's gonna be sweating too. Of course he's gonna show up. He's gonna be sweating in a second as well, won't he now? <laughs> okay, let's go to the opening credits of the show now, people. Getting ready for this match. It's gonna be awesome! Legendary! Well, hello there, welcome to Ivy's Hope with Wrestling Domination. This is Chronic Pain Show 298. The game is Pro Wrestling X, currently in early access on Steam, where you can buy it. As you can see by the link on the screen, me, Adidopia, and my wife, who is going to be helping out with this, has nothing to do with the game other than buying it and playing it and enjoying it. Same goes for any Fire Pro Wrestling World gameplay that might be used in this video. The link for them is also from Steam, above And also, I would like to add, the opening music you can hear right now is from the title screen from the Pro Wrestling X game itself as well as being written by Douglas Patrick. Check out his YouTube and hope you enjoy the show. So as we said, the legendary Dino taking on Bryce the Worst. Extreme Fighter Championship belt on the line inside a steel cage. Then we have an inter-company match. Uh, Beretta taking on Striker, the showtime of the main event, the icon. And then we got, if Jess loses, she's fired, taking on Gwen Striker tonight in the main event. Oh, what? underway. God, I've never seen him breathe so heavy. He looks really out of it. Why? I like him. We're in a really good grueling session. Oh, seems it. Well, we lost track of time. Come on. Okay, he's going all over him. Okay, what the? Oh my god, is he? He's like. That's it. He doesn't seem that like normal. He seems really tired. Oh, we caught him now. He's fine, he'll win. Nice shot there by Theodore. He's Theodore, after all. Yeah, he's legendary. Must be part of the legendary training. Speaking of uh, his opponent, Bryce, we're going to listen to him again in the back. Because he only really snatched the mic off me. We're going to the back to listen to say, listen out. So to rude. Yeah, Bryce now, shall we? I am Bryce. I'm the best of the business for a reason. And tonight I'm going to prove it when I destroy Teodor in that ring inside that steel cage and take my Street Fighter title off him and put it around my waist. Because he doesn't deserve it, I do. Because only the best deserve titles. And you're looking at him, baby. Well, Bryce, unfortunately, you're about to lose. Look at Tiodo climb out. He's like a cat. Look at this. Look how agile he is. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Why'd he stop? Why was he breathing so heavy then? What the? Huh. 
That was not like to you, though. Huh? He's fine. I just want to phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's that? Oh, um, K Kyla, you know, after she got knocked down a few weeks ago, she's been staying over at my house again. And she's really been feeling bad and everything. Like, just like, look, look how sad she looks in that. She's just showing me how bad she feels. Why is her, um, boob out? What? What? What's it? Oh, she, she's oh, it's in the corner. She probably didn't realise. She, she's been really out of it. That's why. She, she probably didn't realise that. Oh, Bryce is trying. How pictures has oh. she sent you? Oh, one second. Do you, no, not Bryce then. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I don't know. About 20, 30 today. Uh, there's been plenty over the past few days when I've been going out and stuff. Dino, climb! Why, why can't he... Why is he being so slow? Why is he breathing so heavy? Oh my god, Dino, what the hell? Ah! Anyway, speaking of Are legendary Tito... sad? Yeah, but we'll, if you want to look at look in a minute, like, we'll go to the legendary Tito in the back first. Let's go to him now, shall we? Oh wait, one second before we do! Let the pin attempt. One, two, Tito! Oh my god, that was too close to three! Yo, you over there. What are you doing? You're trying to get an interview with Tito for his match? You don't need to interview that loser. You can't find him anywhere. Well, who bloody cares? Come over here. Put that camera right in my face. Because I am the champ that runs this very camp. And I have a message for Jess. Tonight, you're in the ring with Gwen Stryker. Amy's already informed me, early tonight, that Claw and the Star, because the other week, you two weren't in the building when you were supposed to be. She is actually going to ban you and fine you for that. And as for you, Sally, causing that ruckus in the back after you deliberately went after Ruby Tower. That absolutely disgusted her. And she's also banned and fined you too from the building. And as we already know, Avitopia, you're now a good boy out there. That's why you keep your nose clean and out of our business. And especially Jess's. Since at the end of the day, you're not married. You're not going out, you're not engaged, you're nothing to do with her, so keep your nose clean. And same for you Supernova Tiffy. After all, you don't want to upset Tanya. Or else, we might have another date with you. And you wouldn't like that, would you? Especially when Ivan, as we already know, will be coming out to help you. And when that happens, you won't have permission. If a certain contract is extended. I know Tanya will love that. I don't think you will. So again, be a good little girl, and stay in your lane. Yeah, yeah, girl slapper, I, I'm... I don't like the fact that you took Teodor's spot there. I don't know where he was. I guess he was doing your legend training with you or something, but... Probably. But, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a good boy. I'm, I'm staying out of the situation. Let me see your phone, because you said that she was... <sighs> was she sad in all these pictures? Yeah, she... Oh, she wanted something, like, you know, uh, some... I don't know, you can look through them. She wanted some, you know, something I needed to get from the store for her or something. Something like that. You oh, know that she's got a see-through shirt on on most of these, right? Well, oh, that, that, she said that's just a nightwear. Don't you wear something like that for your nightwear when you go no. to sleep? Well, oh, she's technically younger than you. Maybe it's just a, a generation thing. And why is she pointing seductively? What do you mean? She's not pointing seductively. No, she, she, she couldn't get out of bed. She's so out of it. So she's using her foot to point over there. So basically, she's really message. My throat is sore. So she wants me to get some throat medicine or something then. And then look, it's empty. Oh, go, Dido! Go! Come on, Dido! Come go. on, Dido! Oh! I'm so close. Oh, there you go. I got kicked in the leg and we passed. Come on, Dido, get up! This one, she's not wearing any clothes. What? Oh, that's, look at the top! Look at her face! She's pointing at her face and stuff, and she's trying to reach it over there. Look, she, oh, oh, what is she? Is she the emperor's new clothes? Is that what she's wearing? Well, I think she's basically saying she she needed a new change of clothes because she's feeling all grubby in them. I think that's what she's trying to say there. Again, she's out of it. She doesn't know what she's doing half the time. So I'm just ignoring that bit. What do you bit. mean she's out of it? Look, look how sad that she. Ever since she got knocked over, remember she's pregnant. She's out of it. She's recovering. She told me the doctor said she's generally fine, but she needs a lot of rest and she'll be a bit loopy, a bit out of it for a few weeks. So I just got to basically look after her hand and foot. Why would she be loopy? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. That's what Kyle told me. She went to a doctor. Yeah, to check to make sure the kid's okay. Oh, got me by Theodore there. I'm sure, that's what they told her. Out of I'm not allowed in. It's not my doctor. Oh, Bryce is going for it. No, the string belt's on the line. Tiro, get up. He always does. 
See? Oh, brilliant, Tito. Come on. Okay, okay, Tito. Tito, come on, run. Tito. A little faster than Tito. Buddy. Tito. Oh, phew. I can remember. Must be part of the plan. Had to be. He's, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. The, he was luring him in. Now he's going to climb up there, jump up like a cat. Go, Tito. Go. Go. Tito. Come on. Why are you stopping? Tito. Oh. I can't remember. I've never seen him. There's out of it in a match. What's going on? All these pictures. What? You can see something of her. A again, she's out of it. She doesn't realise what she's doing. She's it. trying to basically, like, I need a, another new drink. Can you pick me up this? A hot water bottle. Can you do this? You know? I I'm feeling like my back hurts here. That's what they're doing. Oh, Pele! Beautiful! But to the wrong person. That should be Tear Dog. Give it to Bryce. I have to give Bryce credit for that. It was a beautiful payload. This does not feel like a normal Tear Dog match. He's so sweaty and so. You see how hard he's breathing? <laughs> Never seen him breathe that hard. He's just, he's just out of it today. Oh! He got Bryce last second. Come on, Tear Dog. Tito, come on! I think that was the most grueling session that we've ever had. Looks like it! Look how out of it he is! I can remember, I wish you could be a grueling session like that. And I can become legendary too. Oh, I don't take know that. if you would like our sessions. I don't know if I could take them the way Tito's looking. No, I can remember. I don't think you could take them either. I can remember. Is that basically why you came out without your top on then? I guess you're getting so hot in the back with these sessions. Because, mm -hmm. like, God, like I said, you're sweating still. And you're still kind of out of breath still. <laughs> oh, come on, Deodor. You can get out of this. Come on. Come on, Deodor. Come on, Deodor. I don't like to say this, but this feels like Deodor's worst match he's ever been in. Don't say that. Well, it does. I've never seen him, like I said, this hot, this sweaty, this out of it. This is like he was at the end of his Ironman match, you know, all them years ago. And now the last 10, 15 minutes of it. I think I feel Bryce is basically playing with him a little bit too now. Bryce is a bit cocky in there. I think he realises that Tito's not his normal self for some reason. Come on. Oh my god, he's just he's just thrown around like a ragdoll. Come on, Street Fighter is online, Theodore. Come on. No. Theodore, get up. Don't get up. Yes. You're right. You know better than anyone. He always gets up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a kick to the back. Good move by Theodore. When he's when he's down, he always uh, rises to the occasion. Come on, you can do it. It sure does rise to the occasion. Come on! Come, come on! Come on! You can get up there! He's slowing down again! Yeah. Come on, Theodore! Yeah, what? Huh? Uh, did, did, did you just flash him then? No, there was something in my bra and it, there was a wire sticking out in there. Oh. I just wanted to fix it. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I think you might have flashed him by mistake though. <laughs> His feet's on the ground! Yes! I told you Theodore was going to win. He wouldn't let Bryce win. Nice one, Theodore! Get my heart pumping there. Oh, I guess that's part of being legendary. Always keep you cool under pressure. <laughs> I can remember. Keep you on your toes. Definitely. Like I said, I was getting very nervous then. I think the blood was rushing very somewhere in my head then. They're like, oh, <laughs> phew. As we see this, like, it must be part of his plan the whole time because Bryce was getting more cocky. And I think that's what cost him. He was getting cocky with Theodore. And that's when Theodore snapped and won it. And I know you said you were messing with your situation over there, but I do think you might have, uh, like I said, uh, caught him by mistake. I'm sure I didn't. <laughs> so... I think you're imagining things. Okay, I just heard you shout something as I looked over. It looked like it, it was out and you're putting it away. Yeah. And then Tito was looking this way at the time because he was trying to climb over. Oh, and that's where he took a massive tumble. And another massive tumble here. I feel he could have got out with them points, but he was just so slow getting up there. And he's normally so fast. And he normally has so much stamina. He's fine. 
him. Well, he is now because he's won it. It must be part of his ledger plan. I'm just ledger enough to understand what his trail yeah, for. I guess you understood it more because of all the training sessions you're having. Mm -hmm. Don't doubt him. Not when he needs you the most. Emily, yeah, well, still the stream fighter champion. Like this is where I thought Bryce was playing with him, but this I, I think this must be part of Tito's plan. He was playing with him, getting cockier. Look at his face, he's smiling, getting cockier and cockier. Teodor's looking weaker and not no offense to Teodor, more pathetic, but I think he was playing possum to look pathetic on purpose so that he could strike like a cobra out of nowhere. Because look, at this point he's like, it's done deal, Bryce. Look at the smile on Bryce's face. He's like, I've done this, new Street Fighter champion, this is an easy match. And then Teodor rises. And then bang! He hits him so hard, so deep into that cage, ridiculous. And then look at this, he turns around, starts climbing. Maybe he's a little cocky to himself because he got halfway and he just kind of stopped. Unless he stopped because your your mm, popped out in front of him and he's like, what the? And, oh, and, and he focused on the match. Maybe that's what happened, that's why he stopped. So you almost cost him a match there. I didn't. You were lucky you didn't. You didn't. Well, what a match. And also the next match, of course, will be Strikers and the other company. But well, I believe we have to go to Tim first. So let's go to him now, shall we? See what he said before we go and watch that match. Here's a show something to me, the icon, Striker, now. So it's happening exactly like I said. Last week I destroyed but again, I don't even care what your name is, Takayashi, Yushinyo, what I don't give a flying poop. You're in my back mirror now. And this week I am taking on what's your name? Barata, Barita. Well guess what? Not only did you accept the ring with Gary, after costing him his match, if I, if I remember correctly, did you cost him his match against Okada? Yeah, you did. And he absolutely destroyed you. I'm surprised you're barely walking. But the thing is, what you went through with him, it's going to be a cakewalk. I mean, the sweetest cakewalk you've ever been through compared to what I am going to do to you this week. It's that simple. You're just another roadblock for me to knock down on my way to get my stipulation before I defeat Okada and then go on to the following month to defeat, fingers crossed, Kenny can get through Happy Man and prove why I'm the best in the world, why I'm the icon, the main event, the greatest of all time. You heard the showstopper, the main event himself just? As we remember, this match took place in their company not long ago, so we've yet to see the outcome. So we're watching against fresh, but this has technically already happened. Hopefully, Stinky Striker wins. Or it could actually still be happening right now, and the ending could be happening at any moment, but we're going to find Either out. Either way, we're not watching it. Live. Yeah. Strike having fun with the crowd there. I feel like April's over there from, from on our side, because I remember you got to pick the ref for this. So you brought April with him. Sure yeah, after that count out when he was paid off by Happy Man, he made sure it was unfair. Mm -hmm. But the crowd, he's one of the top faces of this company. But the crowd, I guess because to them he's an evader, they're booing him and you can hear it. And he, he's lapping it up. It's not often he gets booed out the arena. <laughs> and here he comes, remember. I don't think this guy's got a chance personally, because last week, remember, on our show, he took on Gary and Gary annihilated him. Because again, Gary's not a traditional wrestler. So when you step in the ring with Gary, even better how good yeah, of a wrestler you are, yeah, how good a wrestler you are, he completely throws you and that's how he gets the advantage of you. And I think that's what he did to him and he destroyed him last week, he got his revenge. Like, no offence, he looks worse state than Teodor <laughs> walking out here. But, but then again Teodor pulled it up, but again he was against Bryce, not the show stuff in the main event, the icon. Whoa, see that? I've never seen Bryce pull something like that off like Striker just did. Look straight away, boom! Oh. Striker just wants to get in there and get the job done. Uh, I, I think he was showing off a bit with that, to be honest, to go for that so early in the match. Sit there and... Boom! Second one. Twiddle his thumbs. He also said he was going to hurt him, and what happened to him with Gary was on the cakewalk. Oh! That's to the knee. So far this has been all Striker. Oh! So I said that and he gets thumped in the gut. <laughs> oh! Cocky Striker there! Did you see that? Lower uh, chops to the groin area. Oh, a reverse striker. Striker gets a little cocky, then they got reversed. Oh, I'm getting some from the back. Oh, apparently we're going to an interview with with Gwen in a minute. Apparently Amy is set. Uh, striker won't mind. It's his wife. So, oh, we're well, thinking striker. Look at that Bronco Buster. Wow, talk about embarrassing him. So yeah, I was. 
So I wasn't uh, expecting to uh, go to anybody in this match other than watch you, but apparently we've gone to Gwen. Let's go to an Oh, Sandy moves up to the striker. I'll kick out. Jess, you had no right whatsoever to firstly accuse me of being with Ivatopia. Why would I be with that idiot when I have Striker? Why would I want to, you know, taste dog dung in comparison to the steak that I have with Striker? You're more crazy and lunatic and broken and mentally challenged in every single way possible if you think I would pick that doofus over my smart, hunky husband. And to make it even worse, you possibly could. You put your hands on me and attacked me and gave me a beating after I'm worried sick that something's wrong with my husband after what just happened. You took me when I was most vulnerable and you beat me down. No. He's the showstopper, the main event, the five star guy, the icon. And I'm his damn wife. And everything he is, I am but for the women's division. You're nothing but a slut, a slag, and a pathetic mental head case. And tonight, I will be the one that ends your career because I am going to defeat you. And with that stipulation on it, you're gonna go bye bye and at last, you're gonna finally get the mental help that you need. Because you should not be in the room because I'm gonna make it worse with the beating I'm gonna give to you. Now hit my music to quote that son of a bitch pet ball. Wow, fucking worse by Gwen against Jess later tonight. If she wins, Jess will be out of the company. If Jess wins, on the other hand, uh, she will advance and of course, Theoretically, one step closer to getting Amy at Carnage. Whoa, he tapped! Strikers won! That was quick. And he's not releasing it. Well, he did say he was going to hurt him more than Gary. My god, it's over six minutes. I think the beating he took last week definitely affected him. Hmm. Wow, it's one match I wouldn't call a five star match for once. Yeah, he's trying to stop him too. Look at this! How rude. Well, he's doing what he said, isn't he? He's making an example of him. Oh, the fudge, he's gonna stop the guy in two. After the beating he took, again, we were said from last week from Gary, I don't think he's got anything left in him. He's gonna annoy the people in the back if he's doing that. Speaking of which, your corner's up there, staring him down! Holy fudge, people! What's he thinking? Is he gonna attack him? I have no clue, he's staring him down! Wow! Strike it, whoa! Strike's picking him up! Like, he's daring to come down! Oh! He's sending a message to him, he's gotta be! Look at the Whoa! Oh my gosh. Wow! Apparently they cut away on that move at the last second. They, 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 apparently their, their TV network was too devastating to work witness. Wow! That was that was a message to Ricardo, wasn't it? You think? Definitely. They're going to replays. Holy fudge! Okay. That looks get, awful. Yeah. Can we get word what actually happened after that? Because I'm assuming that was their main event. Their show has gone off now. Okay, they're getting back to me about it. Do we go for these replays? What, what was that? Well, yeah, they said they cut away at the last second for that move. And then the show, uh, they did replays and the show went off air. Wow. They said uh, basically they managed to get the security down there quick enough to stop a car to going out there. And and also security gets Striker out the building. And apparently Striker was smiling with like a cocky grin of his. And Cardo was fuming. Wow. Like, look at him there. He looks angry there. Apparently, he was even fuming after that. Like this. Like, we don't get to see the full thing, but you can see what he's about to do. I don't know if I agree with him cutting away at that moment, because I think we would have shown that on IWD, but still. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> and then we got Jess up next, taking on Gwen. And she loses, she's fired, but find out she'll lose. Also, also, we don't think she will. Oh, it's the boss! What's Everyone. she doing here? I don't know, but the boss is here. Can somebody please fix my mic? I feel like it keeps going in and out. Either that or it's Amy doing it on purpose. Wouldn't surprise me. I'm gonna say that to her face. She's, she's, she's your boss, after all. I know she can't technically fire you, but that's beside the point. She soon make it very difficult for you. Especially when you come back from being when you're at the dress room, yeah? Or well, people but around really, you. really, what is she gonna say? I don't know. Hey, uh, uh, yeah, you wanna yeah, take a seat? Yeah, take a seat. We have, we have a nice room to fix. She wants to sit, sit here. Work. Sorry, Don't push I didn't me. mean to. She wants to sit on that seat. 
Hi, everybody. Hi, boss. How you doing? Good. Oh, what the hell? Just fell. Is she all right? What a little pathetic loser. She does not look in a good state. She's drunk. You think? She needs help. And you're not giving it to her. In fact, you're the problem. Don't want to go out and say that to the boss. Not her, you. I'm not the problem. She didn't want to do it with me. She knocked my teeth down my throat. Oh my god, she's trying to make it to the ring. Sleep around with everybody. Again, I don't remember doing that. Doesn't mean you didn't do it. You're acting like everyone around me has my kid. Oh, I guess the two sit next to me. Do you have some time to point? No offense, boss. Hmm. I'm still waiting for that child support. Well, like I said, I, I'm focused on getting the, the women in charge to join me. You get somebody so she can wrestle. Remember, it's what sort of carnage, but I'm trying. The clock is ticking. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm trying, I'm trying. It, it, it just what's happening to her front. Because if you don't, then I guess she'll just have to go to jail. What? No! No, no, we, we got to deal with the contract. She's going to, whoever I pick, whoever I choose, we'll win that match of Carnage, and then I'll train them for a year, well, bring them in the ring for a year, and every match they win, I'll get 8%, and obviously a good chunk of that will go to Charles of Fort, we're paying everything back. And she'll become a champion and earn us more money. Let's go in the ring. Hopefully it's enough. It'll be plenty. What? This is Jess Locker Room. No, this was the party locker room. See them cases over there? My God, I've never seen somebody come close to drinking one or two of them besides me. I'm used to drinking four, five, ten. She's a crazy woman. She drank two. No, 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 no. Oh my God, no, three. <laughs> it was insane. I couldn't believe it. She's this pulse to me her locker room. I don't know where she went. She said she was off to get some more drinks. She has a match? Oh, oh, oh maybe she's gone to do that then. I don't know. Hey, do you want to stay for a drink? I've got another four canisters back here. And once she brings the other four or five in, we're going to polish them off. So it's going to be gone quick if you don't hurry up. What? You don't want to? Ah, whatever. More for me. <laughs> well, obviously, that should have been interviewed with Jess. That should have been interviewed with Jess, apparently, but set up the ball. Apparently she's drank three cancers before this match. And she just clapped in the ring again. And I think she was going to fall over originally and she got hit in the face or kept her at the balance and she fell anyway. Hmm. I guess Gwen was right. This will be her final match. What a pathetic loser. I don't know, she might surprise us. Oh, she's at, she's at the ring. Oh, she's just down. She needs an intervention. She needs help. Why is the people around her not helping? She's also pushing people away. I don't care if she's pushing people away. Oh, she's down again. She had a good move to Gwen and she's down. Why are you letting her? Why aren't you getting her the help? You were supposed to love her. Again, she's not the same person. Like, like my, mom, I don't care my memory's gone about two years and she doesn't feel like she believes like someone completely different. Nothing has come back to you. No, no. no. Well, then they're knocking my teeth down my throat. Well, that happened recently. No feelings. For the old Jess, but that's not the old Jess. That's, I don't know who she is. And where were you, Miss Late? <laughs> oh, she was having some legendary training in the back with Theodore. God, yeah. you see how tired he was when he came out sweaty. I'm sure it was legendary. Yeah, I bet it was. Like, she's so sweaty, look, she even forgot to bring a shirt out with her. Yeah, I bet that's the reason, isn't it? It was! We were just... busy! Busy doing what? How do you do training? I, said, I wish I could get some more of your training with them. <laughs> Why don't you all three do it together? No thank you. Yeah, they, they, they said it's better one-on-one -on -one, unfortunately, so I can't. <laughs> oh, good move by Jess there! I'm sure it is better one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, Jess is- Oh, Jess is fighting back! Do you have something you'd like to share with the class? On what you think happened? It's a knee to the face. Yeah, I would also love to know what some of you're training. I get my notebook out, where is it? Ah, here it is! Okay, get some tips about it, maybe I can pull some stuff off myself. Keep your nose out of people's business! Keep your nose out- well, That's not let you train him! Ah! Put that away. Ah! Oh, some uh, tip it then! That is a tidbit. You know, something legendary. What the? She just don't throw her feet! Hmm. She's unconscious! The ref just gave Jess the victory! 
hold up. Hold the damn moment. I have to apologize for people. I did a genuine mistake. You think the match is over because of what the graphics said? No, no, no. You have a second match tonight. So guess what? You're still going to have to win every match till Carnage. So again, please put the graphic up and let's see who it's going to be. Once again, I apologize, people. The graphic was wrong. And the fact it's an over-the-top rope pen submission. Good luck. What? It was wrong? What? Just lose it against Tanya! Wow! So she had two matches tonight! That's not fair, you know that, right? Oh, she just powered her! That it body slam! fair, though. Yeah, she just heard the boss, it was a general mistake! They didn't put the graphic up right! <laughs> so we can't blame the boss for that mistake, can we, of the people in the, the back messing up? Oh, she's getting destroyed! Ow! Ow, they're pummeling her! Oh, again! Ow! It's like a ragdoll! Oh god, look how much you're punishing her! Them punches then! Oh, oh she's just nutting her repeatedly! Oh, again! Ah! This is bad. I don't know if she can win this. I don't think she's had any offense actually in this second part of the match yet. I'm surprised she won against Gwen. I think it's because how lethal the kicks are. So even if she is drunk out of her face, she still has a lot of power in them kicks. Oh, like Tanya's got power in that arm of hers. Like she's turned inside out. And I'm getting told we're going to Tanya now. That is right. Just been informed that as long as she gets through Gwen, I get my hands on Jess and end her career tonight. <laughs> Just wish Ivan Reaver was at ringside for this, but unfortunately, I didn't realize I was in a match and I sent him away to pick something up, and he just informed me by a phone call that his car broke down. Ugh, my crowning moment, he's not here. Hopefully, he'll get here in time, and then we can celebrate with my boots on, baby. <laughs> I look forward to it every night because he knows that I'm the best he's ever had and the best he will ever have. <laughs> How rude. Insulting. The best she's ever had. I used to be with her. What me? What? She said... You've been with her too? Ew, no. She said he's the best that she'll ever... Yeah, she's ever had. And I've been with her in the past, so that's insulting to me. And that she's the best he's ever had. Whatever. Oh yeah, but like you're getting your legendary training. I bet that would even improve that area. It's like one of the extra things of being legendary. <laughs> oh, is that what you guys are doing? No. What, what do you mean what they're doing? They're doing legendary training, but when you become legend, everything about you improves. You know, your speed, your stamina, your ability, your Bingy making everything. It just everything improves. Well, I'm pretty sure you're good at that. Well, I, I know I'm pretty good at that, and you should know. Especially you're not... when it comes to the woman's title belt. Oh, <laughs> very funny. And you should know because if I remember correctly, boss, you drugged me, so I don't remember doing it with you. But you wanted it so much, you had to drug me to do it. Oh, I didn't mean to say that either, boss, because I'm a good head announcer. Fired? No, I'm a brilliant head announcer. You're awesome. I, even though I couldn't remember it because I was drugged, I loved every minute, minute of it. It was the best ever. Yay. You could raise your child support payment. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Uh, Let you no. do your door in the back. Why did you get up? I don't know. I got. What? You want to know where I was while I was running late for Max? It doesn't matter and why I'm so out of I was fine. It, it, I'll just give them some legendary training to see whether Tiffy before the match. It, it was very legendary, and she could test to that. After all, when you get the, the legendary training, it just seeps inside you, and when it does, it gets so deep and feels so the biggest and most legendary thing you've ever felt. It's down to your core. Like, that's just how good my training is, and that's why they all cheer for me, cheer for me, that's right, cheer for me. Yeah, and anyway, I'm taking my strap and I'm going to have a, a legendary rest right now. I tell you that. See you later. <laughs> wow, well, okay. Seeps to your core. I remember that. I remember getting deep in the core. Whew. 
just, he just flows. Oh my god, what's going on? Oh, it's your Vista. He really just flows knowledge. Flow. He puts his all into everything. Yeah, he, he flows does. it. Oh, what about my Jess out of nowhere? Come on, Jess Pinner. Oh! I've basically handed Tanya this match. Oh! If she loses, it'll be ridiculous. Ow, she's picking up like a red doll. Ow. So the splurry it was over. Third bow! Oh! Basically, you do. Who do? And Ivan's apparently off with his car. Uh, uh, broken down. He's not here for her. Oh my, I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on to me. The graphic was the wrong one again. Please put the correct graphic. It's in fact a handicap over the top rubber elimination pin submission that Ruby should be out here. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's my fault, my fault. What? The graphic's wrong again? What? I can't remember. you got to do something about that in the, in the back. So Ruby's part of this match too, handicap. Wow. She's wanting just to lose. Well, she had the match already set. No, she didn't. The, the person in the back, he's messing up. I bet someone, he's... You just tell me where to find someone earlier, uh, boss. Probably the graphic person. Do you feel threatened by Jess? No, why do you feel threatened by Jess? I meant Amy. Oh. What are you talking to me? No. Oh, slam. I still don't see Ruby out here. Where is she? She's in the back having fun. Like you were earlier? Oh, t no, so did no, no, the tip was having fun earlier. I was She's having gone... fun with my legendary training. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, it's fun. I would think it'd be that grueling and that intense that you wouldn't have any fun. Well, that doesn't uh, something I didn't know. That's cool. If you ever gives me, me, I know it's gonna be fun now. I didn't think it would be. Wow. You don't get pleasure out of pain and getting stronger. I just expected to be. Oh, fine thing. I expected it to be so grueling and stressful, you know, and be so pummeled again and again and again and again that you'd just be down and out at the end of it, and then when you finally. Oh, what move! When you finally hit it and realise you're legendary, that's when the light opens. That's what I always thought it would be like. Somewhat like that. Oh, just desperation, Jess. Where's Ruby? Who? Ruby, seriously, get in the match. What's taking you so long? Should've been out here by now. What's going on? Pretty sure she's in the back with somebody, and she didn't realise she's supposed to be out here because she wasn't scheduled. I think she was scheduled. The boss even said, didn't you, Amy? She was scheduled. Of course she was told she was scheduled. I don't know why she's not here. Maybe her car broke down, too. And it is elimination, so let's just hypothetically say, Jess somehow gets through this and beats uh, Tanya. Will the ref then do a 10 count or 20 count or something? And if Ruth didn't show up, she wins the match, I guess. Good. So because obviously the show can't just continue indefinitely. Oh, the, oh go for the knee. Ow. Any more surprises after this, boss? Well, they're not surprises. The person at the back is messing up, isn't it? Oh, he's drag dragging her. That's what you want to believe, Avatopia. You're the boss. Oh, knees oh, to the head. I Jess is going to get this win. She's fighting back. She's kneeing her in the head. Well, of course she's fighting back. Yeah, I mean, after the beating she's taken, she's probably got anything in her. Maybe she's getting so. What the hell? Why is Ruby. <laughs> What's got went on in the back? Who is she with? What the hell is that about? She looked like she was unconscious. Ruby! I am gonna go find out what's going on. What? I don't know what the hell's going on there. I'm gonna find out in a minute. What? The, what? The, Ruby's what the, what the, what the, what? Sally. In Ruby's dress. Did she attack Ruby and take a dress off her? Sally is not scheduled to be out here. But she's wearing Ruby's dress. But that does not make her Ruby. Go, Sally. Uh, I'm confused. Well, the rest going. What the hell? I thought she was supposed to be against Jess, not pinning Tanya! I'm so confused, boss! You and me both. Oh! Jess just turned on her, though! 
I know she doesn't like Sally one bit. I think Sally's letting it go, for now at least. She, yeah, she just defended us if I put, drove it, that's it. I grumble. So if Tanya gets I kinda, pinned, does Jess win? I, I, I don't know, she don't have to pin Ruby, but you, Sally, I guess, I don't know. One thing, if, it, if I'm not mistaken, I think Sally's a little on the bigger side compared to Ruby. Her side boobs tend to show me a lot more. Not that you'd notice. Pretty nice, actually. No, no ref. Firstly, that is not even Ruby. And secondly, for Tanya to be out, she needs to tap to Jess or be thrown out or pinned or something. Not by Ruby wannabe Sally in there. Tap. I didn't even realize she tapped. She did tap. Totally made a tap. Or Ruby wannabe, I don't know. So the match continues. I missed that bit. I guess I was too busy looking at the side boob. Oh god, god, I was too busy scolding you for doing that. Well, it, she's obviously a lot wider in that dress. It's more of it being shown than with Ruby. Oh, she just... Oh, she threw her over the top rope. She's out! Oh, it does, now Jess and Sally got to go out at it. So Sally pit beats Jess, she's still fired. Holy fudge. Oh, yeah, because she's the Ruby wannabe. I think she's trying to talk Jess out of it. Oh, she's voodooing her. Whoa, side puppy! Good Keep God. going, Jess. Stop it! What? No. Even if you pretend to be Ruby, you can't eliminate yourself by stepping out. You have to physically be thrown. So get back in there and finish this match. She has a point there. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, she just got thrown out! She got back in and just got out! Wow. Holy fudge. Jess uh, conti continues on a road to carnage to get at you, After boss. After beating three people in one night. Stupid bitch, slut. Well, you think it's over? I have another surprise for you. Some little friends of mine, so how do you like this? Friends? What? Enough is enough. Oh my god, it's tops. Someone needs to help her. I believe this is just a beat down. She has got through the night. Go so, help. What the, who's that? He's not supposed to be there. Who is it? Is it some kind of fan? It's Ivan. That, that's Ivan. He's got a mask not. on. Ivan doesn't wear a mask. Yeah, he doesn't wear a mask. Oh, he Come just, on, I, I mean stranger. He, yeah, he just ran off. He just see pulled Jess out. He was on her back. Ugh, this is ridiculous. And Sally's got through the crowd. We're going to match replays. Holy Ugh. fudge. I'm what? leaving. What, what? Okay, bye boss. Hey, Karumba. We got Thank God somebody saved her. Yeah, that, that fan was incredible. Yeah, that fan. Mm-hmm. That sexy fan. What are you calling him sexy for? I thought you basically want to get back with Ivan. That's a bit... Strange your part should be saying that. Mm -hmm. You know, he was wearing, I, I like, I guess, similar Ivan t shirts. Like, he's probably a big fan of Ivan Reed. Oh, yeah, big, big fan of him, I'm sure. Yeah. His number one fan of facts. I think he's number one fan. I know he used to give me cheesecakes. I think that makes me the number one fan. If you give me cheesecakes, I cheer for you. But then again, I guess I'm more of a fan of Theodore, but then the cheesecakes are good. Hmm. So, yeah, the pancake would you get? Depends if I give me cheesecakes or not. That's when the uh, going got knocked unconscious. I'm getting cheesecakes. I don't know. I don't. That's hard. That's hard. Become legendary or cheesecake. Wow. Wow. It could become a legendary cheesecake. <laughs> I don't think that's even possible. But yeah. Wow. Jess didn't look like she was in it, but she basically some miracle got through Gwen knocked her out with an incredible, amazing feat of hers. And then of course she fought off valiantly the beating she took from a. Uh, uh, none other than uh, Tanya here, and then we're informed the graphic guy kept messing up, and then Ruby's looking out here, but then we had, I would have to say, a, a more sexy Ruby, revealing more than normal came out, and unfortunately she basically got beaten, where Tanya got beaten, and then Tops came out to basically go after Jess again, and then this number one fan of Ivan Reaver came running out, whoops, <laughs> wearing like his clothes but a mask on so I've no clue who he is pull Jess pull Jess out okay you don't need to be saying that because Why? again because I thought it, it won't be with Ivan Reaver when he finished with Tanya and then anyway he carried her out in the back and then did you see and like that well that was quite a nice view actually wasn't it after all no surprisingly nice view very disgusting that was what? awful why though. and like I said this is where the, the, the slightly better Ruby came out and then, like I was saying again, and then at the end of the show, I feel she gave 
some kind of gesture to top before she ran for the crowd too. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. But you see, like, Jess walloped her. Like, she, she, again, she's like, this is Ruby, I'm beating her up. But really, because, you know, I'm the head announcer, I've got an eye for these things. Nothing gets past me. That was Sally in Ruby's dress. <laughs> Nothing me... gets past you. No, exactly. Not even that cute, sexy fan. No, okay, I'm, if you don't stop, I'm going to uh, ring Ivan and tell her you, you're coming on to another guy at this point. Go ahead. He'll probably agree with me. I'm not going to doubt it. Mm, that fan? Mm, yes. I'm not going to tell him. Anyway. I think it's my mouth in there. My caramba. What is wrong with you? You're getting like hotter and sweatier. Why <laughs> over there? Earlier? Almost as bad as when he first came out. What's going on with you? Nothing. And anyway, this is where Tops came out. And this, this is where that fan came out. He got in the mm, ring, pulled Jess out. That sexy fan. Okay, I'm just going to tell him if you'll stop it. And look, she gave that rude gesture to him. Look, to Tops. That really <laughs> peed them off. Before she ran out. And yeah. Like, the fan of Ivan took Jess from one end of the arena and then Sally went through the other one. And just left Tops sitting there. And that's everything. Yeah, I've been head announcer, life scribe, I've Utopia, best of all time. And I'm Super Never TV. Bye. Yeah, hopefully you'll be late next time. Anyway, life scribe, see you next time, everyone. Bye.